Right then, so let's have a look at this. So it says determine the equation of the following graphs. So let's have a look at what we know. We know, oops, not the book. We know that it's got a root at x equals minus four and x equals minus one. You can kind of see that. You might not be able to see it properly. But your pack is more obvious. So that must mean then that it's got factors of x plus four and x plus one. Now if you think about it, if you expanded that, or if you put, put x equal to zero and the y intercept, you'd get four times one, which is four. My y intercept is zero eight. So to change that four into an eight, I need to double it. So my final answer will be two lots of x plus four, x plus one, because as it stands at the moment, the y intercept for the x plus four, x plus one is just four, but I've got to make it into eight. So what I can do is I can put a sneaky a in here, and that's gonna, I'm gonna use this, the zero eight, to find it. So if I do zero eight, oh yeah, I've got eight, is a lots of four times one, so a is two. There, so I made x equal to zero. And put that there. So that's kind of the maths way around it, but I can cheat a bit. I can think, all right, if I expand it, it's x squared plus five x plus four, that's got a y intercept of four, I want it to have a y intercept of eight, therefore I've got a double it. Have a look at this one. Oof, this one's harder, isn't it? Uh, same idea. You see, they put the A in right from the start. But I wouldn't bother expanding it. You don't need to expand it. If you put X is zero in it, you've just got one times minus two. So they've used the zero minus six for a question point. And they've got the equation. Right, let's have a look at the next page then. So I think these are the last couple of examples from this lesson. So we're getting there. So imagine we've got to rush through this in class, you see, and give you time to work on it, so it's better if you've got a bit more time. Right, let's have a look at this one then. So the vertex, change colour, is 2 comma 1. So I know, if I'm completing the square, it'll be x minus 2 squared plus 1. But if I put x equal to 0 here, hang on. If I put x equal to 0, I've just got minus 2 all squared plus 1, which is 5. But I don't want 5, I want 13 over 2. So it's going to kind of make it harder to do for us to try and get something that works for it. So that doesn't work for us. So if I put the a in front of here, that helps wipe me off, and then use the 0, 13. And 13 is a lots of minus 2 squared plus 1. So 13 is 4a plus 1. Take the 1 is 12, divide through by 4, gives me a is 3. So my equation is 3 lots of x minus 2 squared plus 1. There's a question for you here to have a go at. Same idea. Like I said, I wouldn't bother expanding that bracket. You don't need to expand the bracket because you're just putting x is zero in anyway. So you just have the four times a plus three. Last one, I think. Is it last one? Oh, question for you as well. But we're getting there, though, aren't we? We're nearly there. So it says curve C has an equation x squared plus four x plus k. K is a constant. Uh, it's got two distinct negative roots. So sketch it on the graph. So all I want is something like that. So it's just a picture, that's all. Right, now then, we've got to think about what we can do for this. 
So it says, find the range of values. So, how can I do it? Now, if I move the k value, switch the k value, in fact, let's see if I can do this on the R. Uh, I'm going to get this wrong. There's a way of putting a constant in for this. So it's x squared plus 4x plus k. Isn't it? No, do you know what? I'm going to do it on the normal one. Uh, graph. So x squared. Oh no. This is all going to go wrong, this, isn't it? Because I'm trying to do something that I've not checked I can do before doing it. Right, so if I have x squared plus 4x there, that's setting k equal to 0. Now if I move the graph down a little bit, I'm fairly sure I can do that. Uh, there is a way of putting on like a constant, and I can't for the life of me remember that, which isn't ideal, is it? But if I put that as like a minus 1 now, If you look what happens, it shifts the where the root is because I've moved the graph up and down. Let's see if I can do something less high tech. So here's my graph. If I move it to there, that's where k is zero is. Anything below zero, if I just kind of move this down, can you see how the roots have split up? Now it says it has to have two distinct negative roots. Which means, to have the two distinct negative roots, k has to be greater than zero. Because when k is greater than zero, when k is greater than zero, so this is my k value, the y-intercept, I've got two distinct negative roots. It's easy doing it with this, isn't it? So I've got one, one of the points, which is when, when the graph looks like that. When the graph looks like that, it's a dodgy, dodgy picture on a Thursday afternoon. Done the same picture, really. So here, when k is zero, it touches. So what I really want to know is k is greater than zero. Because at the point when it touches, I've already got one. So this point here, I've only got one negative root. So if k is greater than zero, what I'm saying is that my graph is not lifting. There. It's definitely got two distinct negative roots. Now I can keep on going up. It's got two distinct roots there. It's got two distinct negative roots there. It's got two distinct negative roots. Oh, no, it hasn't. So when it gets to the vertex, it's now only got one repeated root at the vertex. So if I find the position of the vertex and the y value for the vertex, oh, well, of that crossing point, then I'm okay. So let's have a look then. So, uh, so for completing the square, there. There. so currently that equation has a minimum value of well. Minus 4 plus k. So that minus 4 plus k, I can go above it. I'm going to get this wrong in my head. I can go back to go below it, sorry. So I have to try and keep it down there. So I've got. Uh, oh get myself confused with what I want to do. Currently, that has a k value here of minus 4 plus k. So I can have it anywhere pushing up to get it to work. So as long as I keep that below, it all works. Does that make sense to you? So that k is less than 4. So overall, I feel like I feel like I'm badly taught through that. I can have it bigger than that, I can have it smaller than that. There, and that works for us. There's one for you to have a go at, mate. Things gonna run out in literally three seconds. Have a